Ooh, welcome back everybody welcome if you're new today we're in the dirt street stocks here at williams grove we're in a good time here in practice i don't think we'll keep up that kind of speed and qualifying we could probably get down to the low sevens i think because uh track was completely fresh when we ran that so i imagine like mid to low sevens will probably be pull if somebody can get into the sixes that will be great on them i just don't think we'll get down that far Cause when this track when the track started getting like this in my last practice, I ran like a 727. So I imagine it'll be something similar to that. Just gotta not hit the inside wall on these corners. Cause we're gonna be running low. Try to stay straight with the car and not slide around too much. That felt kind of slow through one and two. Sometimes when it feels slow, it's fast. It's really weird. That was a good three and four though. A little sideways when we got to the exit of four. Let's see what that lap was. Okay, we ran faster. That makes no sense. <laughs> we ran a 560. How the hell did we do that? I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, this might be one of those kind of races where my car just hooks up or something. I don't know, I love Williams Grove. This is like one of my favorite tracks. People hate this track, but I absolutely love it. What did we run second lap? A 610, damn. That still would have been pole right now. That is flying. I don't know how we did that, to be fair. I really don't, but we have a full field of 16. It's only one split, so I think everybody's gonna make it to the feature as well. We're not gonna have a consolation. Uh, we got the three car in here of Hayden. He's a viewer. He was talking to me in the last, uh, practice lobby before the race so hopefully he does well good luck to him but we still have a few people left to qualify and it looks like we might start on pole for heat number one that'd be great and i'll bring you guys back we're ready to take the green for the heat races <laughs> Right, well, we hold on to the pole which is awesome the one car did not qualify neither neither did the eight the 11 car is not here so i wonder if the one car is like super fast and trying to do like a back the front challenge through his heat i don't know but he's in heat number two so we don't have to worry about him for ours thank you hayden i'll message him after the heat he is not in our heat so he'll be watching us <laughs> But hopefully we can keep that kind of speed up for this race or at least the heat race so we could start on pole for the race because i do not want to start behind people going into turn one at williams grove it gets very hectic at that point a lot of people hate this track because of that the restarts and like the initial start being double file and everybody just barrels it off in the turn one at williams grove and it always causes a huge wreck so I'm not surprised that a lot of people don't like this track, but I love this track because even in these slow cars, you have to let off, get down to the bottom to be fast, and then it'll get slick. You'll move up some, and you still might be able to make that bottom work in the slick. Makes the makes for great racing. This place in USA are like that. USA is a little bit wider of a straightaway and corners, but still puts on some pretty good racing. I love those two tracks just because it takes more like the driver input to win the race instead of just full throttling along the wall <clears throat> i've had some really good races here <clears throat> like i think it was two years ago or something i had a limited race here with a guy oh, that had like over five six k i rating and uh we were running one two like the entire time i had the lead for the longest time and he got by me in three and four and won by point zero two seven at the line side by side it was crazy it was a great race so that's why i've always loved this track just because it puts on some good races when it goes clean but this feature will have cautions on don't know if we'll get cautions i hope not because the race can go by pretty quick if you don't get cautions try to get a good start here not an amazing start but the 10 car stays to our outside so he's gonna have to go outside into turn one or we're gonna get just pushed through turn one like he let off to try to get behind us and just push us but at least we didn't get dumped by him or anything <laughs> kind of expected him to stay on our outside going into the corner i didn't expect him to get behind us but if we can keep up our speed from qualifying 
or at least just like the difference in speed we should be fine if we can just keep this low side rolling pretty well they're sliding up already and we're already getting a little bit of a gap so that's perfect use a little bit of brake to get into these corners to get down the bottom just getting the car rotated enough so we don't go straight up the corner like we still ran a 668 i think that was second place this time in qualifying something like that something close to that that's absolutely crazy like how are we still going that fast when the track's getting worn in like this for the feature i think we'll be running a little bit higher like where that grip is because this bottom is getting very slick but a lot of people might not run it to be fair Okay, it's so easy just to go in the corner slide up get that grip and keep on going not a lot of people can kind of hold the very bottom like that try to go up here get a low exit there's a lapped car or a wrecked car getting lapped on the outside there that actually worked really well for the exit of turn four which I believe we'll probably be doing in the race, the feature race. I'm going in like a little bit higher to get like a good turn down, like trying to do a little bit of a diamond line, but just starting in kind of high and getting a cut down. Just get your car pointed straight off the corner. Let it come out to the wall. Seems to be doing decent. I think you can make it to the corner without with that what <laughs> oh people get so angry here it's so funny like i understand it people do not yeah. drive the you cleanest on this track hitting me or not? <laughs> that's what was happening to me in the practice if you saw like the bottom right where it had a couple car contacts like i was behind a guy he hit the inside wall in the turn one we got by him clean and then two laps in a row we got a 2x from him hitting us in three and four <laughs> Like, first lap, he just, like, ran in the back of us. Going in a lot harder than we were. Because we, I like to try to keep it all the way on the bottom. And he was just kind of sliding through it and going up. And the next lap, he tapped the back of us, got sideways, hit the inside wall, and wrecked. <laughs> so we already got a 4X in practice. Oh, geez. We, we did not get a good turn one there. But we have plenty of space. We'll win this feature as long as we don't screw up the last corner. Good run by the 10, though. He kept up with us pretty well. Pulled away from him a little bit off the start and a little bit there at the end, just slightly. But uh, he was pretty quick. Still running 24-9 on that last lap. Yeah, I messed up turn one pretty bad. That guy is completely wrecked on the outside. So I don't know if we're going to be waiting on him to finish that lap. We might be, to be fair. So that sucks. Go back, see the incidents real quick, I guess, since we got time. Cause that guy's all the way up in the wall, destroyed. Dang, apparently that was just not right. <laughs> They're hitting in the back. They're all sliding up. Eight gets dumped. Just completely dumped there. That's unfortunate. He hit the inside wall and it's broken because it went to the next seat. Okay. So good luck to Hayden. We will watch this heat, see how it goes. Watch this uh, seven car. He was the one that we were getting hit by in the uh, practice. <laughs> but he's starting second. So it'll be interesting to see how he does on this start. Need to get a better start than we did on the uh, heat. Because that's not going to fly too well in the feature. Because the outside is going to be a little quicker. You really don't want to get to the bottom as much. The exit still has a ton of grip. It's the, the start of the corner that doesn't have a whole lot. Okay, seven car. <laughs> the hell is he doing? And got hit by the four. <laughs> nice. I feel like not everybody cleared it. I think everybody did, for the most part. I think I just think the 11 car is not here. That's it. So I don't know what the hell the seven's doing. We'll see how well this goes. Where is Hayden starting? I know he's the three car. He did not have a very good qualifying. He's starting pretty deep in the field. And where's the one car? The Don't one car not great? Jack, when I race you the same way you just did me. Isn't the one car in this? Yeah, he should be starting seventh. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's way back here. 
Okay. I just didn't go back far enough. Well, it'll be interesting. Oh, he's spinning out. <laughs> what is with these people in these this heat race? I'm so confused. But it'll be up oh, and they're wrecking up front. What is going on? Like literally, I'm so confused. I don't I don't get what's going on in this heat rate race at all. Seven car in the four, the seven just wrecks the four. No, I know you're not dead. Okay. I'm not mad either, but I'm gonna race you the same way you just got done racing me. I Super that confused. What is the 16 talking about? I he would said love you to gotta know. catch him first. <laughs> he said you gotta shut the hell up. Don't worry about it. We're Yikes. not talking to you. How about that? Six cars, Jack. So hey, what the hell is he talking about? Mad, bud. He said you gotta catch him first. What what is he even talking about? Let's okay. see. Okay, you're right. Going into turn three, he's right behind him. Kenny, are you mad? Oh, he kind of slid up into him there in turn three and just kind of kept going up the track. So that hey, would be Kenny, quite annoying. I agree, but it is Great what it is. Man. And they're green. I want to watch these guys back here. Actually, I want to see the seven up front wreck the four most likely. Oh, kind of wreck that. We'll see how this heat goes. They're already three wide for second. They get double file. We'll see how this turn three goes. Four car all the way up to the wall. It's three wide, almost four wide for the lead. Goes back to three wide. This is crazy. Four car still in the lead at that lap. Seven car just sends it in. Got into the four. Five car goes right on by. They're three wide for about third. And I think the one car is the one on the very bottom now. Four car came down on him. Oh, four and the seven getting together again. <laughs> oh, hated, watch out. Oh, they're wrecking. Seven's hooking the four. Oh, I thought he was going. Wide open or do y'all lift? Definitely lifting. 100% lifting. Seven car has gone from seventh to nearly last. Right in the middle is Hayden in that black and green car. Watch out for him. 12 car kind of slid right, up into him. I can only run like 24, eight, 24 Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, I'm messing on. the camera up. So 12 car really messed him up. I feel like I'm doing fast as I can. One car is all the way up to third already. That's like all the faster I can run too, dude. I'm just talking it up that I hate this track. Everything <laughs> I've done, like I try and do something different and I get fucking five So many people car. hate this track and it's so funny. Four car got tight in the middle yeah, of the corner. Yeah. Tell me about it, man. I hate this track and every car on the <laughs> and I suck at this track. I just can't figure it out. 13 nearly got into the five, but checked up enough to not run into him. I lift completely going into the turn to get the car to turn. I think I lift it's completely too. I want to say I do. Ooh, one car is all the way down there. That was tight. He locked up his front uh, tires there, trying not to run in the wall on the bottom. That was close, but they've all gotten pretty single filed out now. The one car is trying to make up some spots. Still getting it rotated really well down there. Got to the inside of the 13. He'll have position here in three and four. He rotates the car really well getting into the corner. Like he gets so sideways. I don't know if he's hitting the brakes or like gassing it up and whipping it to do that, but he's doing a really good job of that. He's like so smooth with it to not, I think he's uh braking to get down there. It looked like he locked up the front left slightly getting in the one. Four car almost ran over the 13, and we got the seven car back here with the four and Hayden. Oh, yikes. Super tight. Seven car in the back of the four slightly. Way to keep it clean down there. Four and the seven side by side. You better watch out for them. Better watch out. Oh, geez. Seven throws a little bit of a slider. Kind of goes really high. Hayden's getting to the inside of the four. Still watching that battle for the lead. Because the uh, one car... Oh, jeez. What is the seven doing? He just, like, completely tail whipped in. This is the final corner of the uh, heat. Four car doors, Hayden. They're three wide. And I think the four car got him barely at the line, I want to say. Yeah, just barely. That's crazy. That was some tight racing. And then heat number two. But uh, Hayden ended up finishing six. That's unfortunate. We're going to start on pole. The one car is going to start back in fourth. So we'll see how this goes. The one car is super fast okay, there. The Hopefully we can uh, have that kind of speed. Because <laughs> he seems the he seems like the car to beat to me. 
like over me i i'm putting him over me because <laughs> he started in the back and got all the way through that up to second nearly won it if there was a couple more laps he might have won it very close racing though it was terrifying around that seven car it looked like <laughs> the right, four and the seven started up front that. they went all the way to the see back and then back to the and, middle uh, good luck everybody and thanks for the help there man that was nuts hey jack kenny's gonna drive you the same <laughs> way you drove him he said <laughs> oh god are you just wanting to go team racing because we've got a four-man team here it's an interesting accent i think it's british or english i'm not sure I'm terrible with accents. To to get <laughs> Probably gonna do this restart and forth just to get it, just so I don't have to shift. Don't know if that's a smart idea or not. Hopefully hey, we can get Kenny. a good jump. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys doing with four men? Oh God. <laughs> it be that we're running people over and then fucking them for getting upset about it. They're going wild in the chat right now. Drive Jack the same way. Okay, one car just keeps repeating that, which is kind of annoying. But hopefully we can get a decent jump here. And we'll see how many cautions we get. We have 25 laps. There is a time limit on it somewhere. I don't know where, but... Hopefully we can get all the laps in. I know when I ran the Supers here a few weeks ago it might have been three four weeks ago i'm not sure like my my game bugged me out which sucked uh, we were doing decent in that race but um it was a whole bunch of cautions and it finished under time limit which sucked that was absolutely terrible there were just so many wrecks in that race but street stocks hopefully we can go a little greener and have a good race that's my hope at least 25 laps is not super long if we can go like four or five laps green it could go green to the end in my opinion it's all about the start really kenny come on okay we got a good jump i'm happy about that went a little earlier and the fourth gear did work quite well i know there's gonna be a lot of crashing with them so i'm just gonna hang out and ride in the back and hope for the best oh yeah they're three wide per second <laughs> one car is in the middle three wide It is very slick down here now. I might want to go on that higher lane to start and then dip down on the exit. Got about oh, an 8, 9 tenths lead over the one car. My car was so tight there, that was bad. Goodness gracious, yellow car. I've seen that coming from a mile away. And there's a caution. <laughs> it's probably from that yellow car that he was talking about. That's my bad, man. I tried turning that fucking car. Dude, what the fuck? When it goes straight into the car, oh, Jack's in the pits. Yikes. Slam on that brake. Was it Kenny? Don't rotate. <laughs> was Kenny the culprit of that? I swear to God, I was on it. I was trying to make it stick on that bottom wheel. You just fucking took me out, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> All right, people are pissed. These caution laps are going to be a couple minutes, so I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green. We're in first, and we got the one car behind us, and he's been super fast, so we'll see how this goes. All right, well, we are single file for these restarts. I honestly forgot about that. So that's actually kind of a positive for me, at yeah, least. Yeah, I think my, my strategy is just going to be stay in the back and drive <laughs> and stay out of trouble, and hopefully that works. Yeah, the 15 said he went, he's going through pit road to get to the back. They didn't want any part of it. And pass everybody. It's definitely a strategy. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> All right, There's hopefully no we can try to hold off this one car. He is very quick, though. So this will be interesting. Those when people pinch you off on exit. Yeah. Decent start. One car is catching us uh, before I went, but it's an okay start, I'd say. A lot of the grip on the top side got cleaned off from pace laps. The one car is super good on the bottom. He definitely gets the car lower than I do a lot better. Oh, geez. I almost hit the inside wall, kind of slid up. Not a terrible three and four. He slid out a lot in four. He's so good in one and two, though, is the thing. Dude. Really need to get it turned down like that. Maybe I need to get it turned down even more to try to get on the exit better. With three walls, what do you want me to do? Get that fucker out of the way. Okay, he's going to the pits. I was kind of worried about that. I didn't know where he was going. 
Luckily, I didn't bring out a caution. Yeah, I just cannot get down there all the way like the one car does. I'm trying not to like just cut off his front bumper so I don't spin myself or him out. He's a lot better at getting down there than I am. I think I'm off throttle a little bit too long as well down there to turn in. That was much better, but he had a lot better of a corner. I had a feeling when he didn't qualify. Oh, we got lucky with there. Held him off because of the caution. I'll take it. That was lucky. He was definitely uh, going to be side by side with us down this front stretch going to the line. He is very quick in turn one is my problem. He's super fast down there. Three and four, I kind of hold him off a little bit, but one and two is where he is killing me at. But we get caution number two, lap six going into seven. Uh, hopefully we can have a decent start again and try to hold on to this lead. Because other than that, it's just me and him battling up here. So hopefully we can hold him off. And if not, we'll finish second at worst. We are car two, so it's not too bad. But so far, good race in the front. It's been uh, pretty clean. And I'll bring you guys back. We're going to take the green. Dude, I know. I don't know what's going on with their mic, but he's sounding kind of robotic. <laughs> yeah, his mic sounded so robotic right there. All right. Another restart going into lap seven. It took him a couple laps to get all the way to our bumper and to our inside, so... Hopefully we can hold him off and have a little bit better of a run. I might go to that that outside lane in uh, three and four, like just to the outside of the slick. I might do that. Like going on here on out because I think the bottom just getting so worn in. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. At least we didn't get a two X from that. He was trying to jump it. It did not work out for him. Trying to get down here without smacking that inside wall. He is so good at getting his tires in that grip. That's crazy. He is so good at that. All right. I don't think this is going to have too much grip right now, but we're going to try it. I think we could hold him off if we just run right outside that slick in three and four. Slid all the way through in one and two. That's not going to help us out at all. He's going to be side by side with us. We had a little bit more speed on exit. Oh, sorry about that. Clear low. Ran slightly too high there. It got a little tight. Should have the exit speed and another caution. So that's going to hold us in front of him again. Jeez. I see Hayden's gotten up to six. So that's a good after his poor starting spot, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully he can get to the top five. That'd be good for him. He's car three, so he kind of needs to for his I rating in this race. But we're getting saved by these cautions a little bit. But good side by side racing there in uh, three and four. I, I know I can get that exit speed off of turn four up on the high side. So that's a positive at least. So we're going to keep grinding it out there, trying to hold him off. And we'll see if we can get some green flag racing. One to go. All right. Let's get ready to go green. Hopefully we can get another decent start. The outside lane in one and two is starting to get so wide out there to like come back down on exit. It's like hard to keep up that that spot on the outside, like being in first because he is very good on the inside. So hopefully we can do decent. Because we do have the position at least and hopefully we can get a decent start again. We'll see if he tries to jump it again and runs into us. Might just try to go like early, but we'll see. It's so slick on the bottom of four. That's why we're getting that grip on the outside and getting the uh, speed on it. Oh, slid real hard there. That's going to slow us down for the exit a lot. He's straight side by side with us. We got the five car up here. I think he's going to the pits. He does. Yeah, he's holding that bottom clean, though. Inside. Good racing. Go inside, clear I'm going to try to get more of an outside lane going in so we don't slide out as bad and maybe hold in more speed. I need to get lower on exit, though. 
Definitely more Clear. exit speed doing that. Clear. This line's not going to get too much wider. I kind of came down a little early there in three and four. He might be able to throw a slider here in one if he wants to. But I'm kind of running that, that line through the corner. So it'd be hard for him to throw a slider on us. Three and four, I'm trying not to slide up as bad as we do in one and two. Got a good bit of grip up there for speed. Don't scrape it from the wall. <laughs> we got a zero. We didn't even get a contact from the wall, surprisingly. Decent grip out there. This is why I like Williams Grove. If you can get somebody that can run the bottom like this, it's fun racing. But it's definitely so much tougher for him down there, but he's doing a hell of a job with it. I just have to keep pinching him off a little bit so he can't get a good run on exit. I got to keep going super hard into turn one. That was almost, that was kind of too hard a little bit. But we keep getting the exit speed, which is uh, awesome. He's running high with us in three and four now. Try to try to get a run into uh, one and two, I'm guessing. Went a little lower there since he wasn't below us going into it. He's really good in one and two. He's very good in general. Oh, he had a good three and four, but we have good exit speed. Yeah, he had a real good three and four there. Oh, wow, he runs high with us. I'm shocked. Working the bottom. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get a run on us, run the same line. Clear low. Inside, inside, inside. Cause that's really Clear the only low. way he has a chance at passing is throwing a slider on the low side, but these things don't have too much horsepower to throw a slider. So it'd be very tough to do. Ten to go. Inside. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely faster than us. Like if he were to get by us, I don't think we're catching him. Like it would be a tough battle, but I don't think that we would catch him at all. Because I definitely think he's quicker if he has the lane that he wants to run. Still there. Clear inside. Twenty-five point one nine eight. Try to keep the car a little bit straighter that time through the corner. Still there on the bottom. Like, see, once we've gotten by the cautions and all the wrecked guys leave, we're having a good race up front. And we're still pulling away from the guys behind us. That's the closest he's been side by side to us at the line. Like our left rear tire. Good exit speed off the of two. I really want to know what this guy's eye rating is because it's definitely higher than ours and we have like 4.1 or something right now. We keep dropping from the damn sprint car door. <laughs> I can't remember exactly where we're at. We might have been just around 4,100 after running the uh, super late models and sprint car tour this week. Oh, and we get a caution. We're going to have like a six lap run to the, to the end here, like a six lap sprint. Yeah, great run. I, you're definitely quicker than me. It's just so tough to pass here. It's very uncommon that the track... I've ran a lot of races. <laughs> it's uncommon that the track's the same speed, top and bottom. Yeah. Makes it fun, though. Yeah, but... Before I spun myself out, I uh, <laughs> noticed how well you're making... All right, there. Uh, he's going to talk a little bit, so... We're going to go have these caution laps. We'll have a six lap sprint to the end here. So hopefully we can hold off the one car. We're doing a pretty good job of it so far. One to go. All right. Get ready to take the green here once again. Just need to keep running the same line we were and we should be all right. The one car is running a super clean, which is awesome. Having a good race. I think he realizes like I'm not going to wreck him out of the way or anything. I'm not going to try to chop his nose off. Try to race as clean as possible. And somebody said they were having overheating issues because I think they had a front end damage 
from one of the wrecks. All right, hope we can get a decent jump here or try to. The pace car is off. Be ready. I'll be looking up for you now. I bet the pace car is off. Be ready. Try not to get sideways off turn four. And it was an okay. It was an okay start. We have a little bit of a jump on him. It did not want to turn into turn one. Inside. He had a good Still turn inside. one though. Have a little bit of speed on him. Still inside. Clear. Trying to gas and brake slightly at the same time to get the car to rotate, inside. but keep the uh, RPMs up. That's the closest he's been to us at the inside. line so far. Slid up a little bit too high, but we should be all right. Actually, he he kept speed really good there off of two. Clear. Not gonna have the room to get up in front of us. Had a good three and four there. Come on, a few more laps left. We got this. I thought he was gonna get by us on the bottom earlier, to be fair, but the top really came in really well for us, and it's so hard to pass on the bottom. Yeah, I think he's just gonna try to get by us in the bottom, not really throw a slider at all. He'd have to get a really good run off of a corner on us to throw one. It'd be tough to do. But I wouldn't put it past him, I think he can. He'd have to be like straight to our inside and we get another caution. So we'll have like a two lap shootout here at the end, damn. That's so frustrating, man. Ruining such a good race. These cautions are ruining such a good race. <laughs> Because is there a timer? Uh, yeah, there's 550 got. left on the timer, but we should get it in because these caution laps aren't too long and hopefully we can get two laps green at least one to get to the the white flag So hopefully we can hold on to this lead the last two laps. It's been a great race so far uh, At worst we should finish second unless we get wrecked, but uh, he's been super clean with me So that's been awesome. Even if he gets bias clean I'm I'm just gonna try to cross him back down and do what he's been doing to me and try to run the bottom on him or if we have a chance to throw a slider throw a slider but i'm i'm anticipating trying just to keep the lead like we have the entire race but we're gonna have another uh, another caution lap so i'll bring you guys back when we go green is it like the seat one to go all right get ready to go green these last two laps probably just gonna leave them muted for now till after the race because i want to try to concentrate on this and get this win because we've we've led every lap so far the one car has been right on us the entire race once he got by um second and third because he started in fourth so hopefully we can hold on to this and get a good jump here that's gonna be the main thing is a start but it regardless he's gonna be right with us i know he's gonna have a good start just need to concentrate and do what we do Try to throw him off there a little bit for the start, but he's still had a real good one. Regardless, try to go in low and slide up high. That wasn't great. He's going to get a hell of a run on us in the back stretch. That was a bad idea by me. He's probably going to slide up on us in uh, three and four. Or maybe not. Oh, I think he's going to off of four. Outside. Yeah, I fucked up that restart. What are you doing, Justin? See if we can try to hold this bottom on him. No, he has the speed. Yeah, I messed up that restart. I thought he was going to go low. Great race, great race. I messed up that last restart. I thought you were going to go low there in turn one. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, he just shot that short. Wow, good race, man. I'll tell you, dude, being a lower split, you, you <laughs> gave me the most run for my money I've ever had in a lot of races. Great yeah, job, it was the only man. split, good I figured. Job, so I was, I was going to see what your I rating was afterwards. I have like 4.1 or something like that. Oh, geez, we're Yeah, I'm at like uh, 45, but I've been up to like 6, 65. Oh, nice. I've had a lot. Yeah, I fluctuate between like four and four or five, something like that, depending. 
That was a hell of a race, though. I screwed that up on the last really restart. That took me out. Nice try, Jabroni. <laughs> we'll go back and see all the incidents afterwards. But I just want to see that last restart. I screwed up here. Thought I thought he was going to go low. And I so I go to block, like, a slider line from him, but not really a slider thrown on us. And I just got way too sideways there. He ran the outside, got the uh, rut on us. That was just bad by me altogether. And then he had a really good three and four here. Like, I thought he was going to throw a slider in three and four, but he just ran the bottom and slid up off of turn four. Like, he had a really good three and four. So, I can't be mad about that. He just, he was really good down there. Had the speed. He just runs kind of in the middle, so we can't throw a slider. Actually, he kind of went to the outside lane, but still couldn't really throw a slider very well there. And, uh, we kind of pull away from the pack there. Ooh, Hayden got through there into third. Good, good third place by him. I saw you sneak under there on the last, uh, lap. He was in like fifth. These two get together because the 13 sliding up some and he just sneaks on by at the bottom. Nice job. Nice job getting third there. But let's go back. See all the incidents through this race. That was absolutely ridiculous. A lot of wrecks right off the start. They were like three wide back here. All hidden. And six car goes for a ride. Getting hooked by the seven. Kind of not shocked. <laughs> He's stuck upside down. What the hell happened here? Let's go far chase so we can kind of see what happens a little bit better. What even happened here? I'm so confused. Was this under caution? This is literally under caution when everybody's trying to check up and catch the field. The 5 just gets into the back of the 10 while the 10's checking up. 10 gets loose, hits the 9. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a hell of a mess. Because these guys are just trying to slow up, let the guys buy that they're supposed to. It's 9 gets sideways right in front of the 7. 7 has nowhere to go there. Don't know if he's trying to hold him up at that point or not. Is it stuck on one person? No, he actually gets to the wall. 12 car goes in, gets hit by the 7 car, spun around. That's going to be the next caution. How many incidents did that 7 car get? Because I know he had to have had a bunch. He had 12. And I think 12 is DQing. Yeah, he literally DQed out of the race. Nice job. And a couple cars were really close to it. So, yikes. That will happen at this track, though. And, yep, the set, the seven car needs to be protested by, like, everybody in the race. He is ridiculous. Like, between... He got me twice in practice. He was spinning and wrecking out under the heat before the start. And then all this mess is going on. 15 just checks up. <laughs> Couple of these guys' front rights are destroyed. The one car was super fast. He probably just barely clips the wall down here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even... I, it was probably a little bit of net code because it didn't affect them at all. I think he did it again. You have to run so tight down there like that. And if you actually hit that wall, it's going to, like, really hook you and come around. Hayden did the same thing. Oh, wow, nearly got taken out by the 14. Oh, yeah, he got the wall a little harder, though. You can see how it, like, stopped him. 14 was just sending it in corners. And then completely sideways, 12 has nowhere to go at that point, unfortunately. That's going to be the next caution. This is lap 23. Seven car gets into the back of the 14 and that's probably gonna be his DQ, isn't it? No, not quite yet. <laughs> it's close to Five in the 14. Jesus Christ. This is after was this after the race? It might have been. I don't know How many he only ran that many laps the five car was just going on a rampage hitting people Yeah, that was after the race. I think after he got wrecked or something just going around hitting people This race was a mess a complete mess, but <laughs> we finished second I screwed up that last restart completely. I thought he was going to go low, try to get to our inside. So I was going to try to block it. Didn't really work out in our favor. It is what it is. He was very fast, clean with me. So I'm very happy with how it went. Like, good race. Good job, Hayden. Get up to third there at the end. Going from 12th to third and that. And behind you went from 13th to 4th and 10th to 5th. So a bunch of people uh, gained some spots because a bunch of people wrecked out. <laughs> kind of a mess of our race, but that happens here at Williams Grove. So... We finished second, should gain a little bit of I rating regardless, being car number two. One, two, three to finish. If the four car could have finished fourth, that would have been perfect. Like, at least top four. But we got top three in the right numbers. <laughs> but we should gain a little bit of I rating. Good win by the one. Good race by him overall. Way to be clean. Appreciate that a lot. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, strength of field was quite low, under 2K. It was the only split, though. Only 16 guys registered. But uh, luckily, we were up front for most of it and uh, just threw it away there the last couple laps, unfortunately. Good win by the uh, one car, though. He was very, very clean, very fast, though. We get back up for over 4,100. Hayden gets over 33. Congrats to you. 
we actually gained some safety i'm, I'm kind of shocked because i thought uh from practice when we had a 4x from the seven car <laughs> like he had 8x in practice how do you do that like you just go out and wreck i don't get it like what's the point he has uh, he's almost under a three at the C level, but that's just absolutely crazy. But we gained some I rating. Very happy about that and uh, had a good race up front with the one car. Very uh, happy it went clean. I wish there were just less cautions because if there wasn't uh, the cautions there at the end, I don't think I would have thrown it away like that because we were having a good smooth battle. I just thought off the uh, restart he was going to go low because he did that a few times and got to our inside and had pretty good runs down there. So I was trying to block what he did before. And he changed it up on us, and uh, good job by him, smart by him and everything. So it is what it is. Had a good race, uh, final race of the season, really, that you guys are seeing. I still have to run, like, the NASCAR race that I put up the day before, but this is the final race of the season you guys are seeing. So it was a good one, at least. And then off on a pretty high note. Wish we could have won that. That would have been great. A uh, good way to go off on the season. But it is what it is. I'll take second place. And hopefully we can have a pretty good season next season. Like next next street stock season and stuff. Don't know the tracks or anything. Probably a lot of the same for the most part. I think there might be a dirt track coming out. Like the Indy dirt track that's in Indy. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think I heard something about it, but hopefully we can get a new dirt track. That'd be awesome. So appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race and I'll catch you guys in the next one.